Jake. What's what's the deal with the office today? It's, it feels crazy. Somebody stole 20 bricks of coke and some machine guns from evidence. What? It's the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, well, you just got here, right? Right. I need you to find whoever did this and kill them. So they're dead. Bonkers morning, huh? So any idea who did it? No, but whoever it was had an intimate knowledge of our security systems. It was obviously an inside job. I bet it was Brian. Why'd he say that? Because... He once said he has a hot tub. You know how that crowd is. I didn't know Brian had a hot tub. That does sound bad. Yeah. But we have to let the investigation run its course. Right now, everyone's a suspect. Except for Hitchcock and Scully. Whoever did it took the stairs. What'll happen to the person, you know, if you find them? Well, they've committed several felonies. Probably looking at uh, 30 to life. So that person could miss 15 Olympics. Cool. I have to go. They know the drugs are missing. They don't suspect me because I'm playing it super cool. Now, when is the handoff? Yes, I'm alone in the ladies' room. No one can hear me. OK, so I know something, but you can't ask how I know it. Debbie, Debbie. Debbie. took the coke right. and the guns. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Debbie. Acting yeah. super suspicious. Debbie, can I see you in my office? Yeah, sure. What's this about? We'll talk in my office. It'll just take a minute. Oh, yeah. wow. This morning's full of surprises, huh? First that stolen cocaine that Hot Tub Brian took. Now this unrelated thing involving me. You know what? I think I'm going to go make a sandwich. I just, I love sandwiches. I'll meet you in there. Guilty of loving sandwiches, right? <laughs> Debbie? Mm, what do I want in my sandwich? Let's see. Definitely ham, cheese, baking soda for sure, French vanilla creamer, ooh, orange chicken. <laughs> ah! Debbie! You really thought you'd get away with it? Damn, Scully! Well, I was planning on eating that orange chicken later. Is that why you took her down? Do you even know about the missing cocaine? Cocaine? So we don't know where Debbie is hitting the drugs. We searched her car, her apartment. We even tried the location data on her phone, but she was smart. She had it turned off. Or her battery died. According to her screen time app, she plays five hours a day of a game called Cool Girl in School. I love CGIS. I just meet Captain the Color Guard. Junior year is looking up. The coke Debbie took was evidence against Silvio Nucci. Now, he wanted it gone. Now, I think he got Debbie to do his dirty work. I'm sorry, you think Debbie is working with notorious crime boss Silvio Nucci? The same Debbie who has a denim jacket that says rock and roll? It was her. I heard her setting up a drop. And why were you in the women's room? It wasn't for a gross reason. The men's room was occupied and I had to dump out. Well, as long as it wasn't for a gross reason. We know you did it, Debbie. Just tell me the truth. Let me be your friend here. Thank you, but I already have plenty of friends. Gil, Finn, Goldie, Bubbles. Those are clearly just the names of your pet fish. OK, fine. They're my fish. And I took the drugs. I'm sorry. I screwed everything up. OK, this is good. But just tell me why you did it. Because I need my drugs. I'm a big time drug girl. Debbie, I don't think that's true. I think Silvio Nucci forced you to do this against your will. Nucci? <laughs> She sat there and laughed for 40 minutes. She's never going to turn on Nucci. I'll bet she's heard stories of what he does to people who testify against him. Man, I wish there was something we could do to help her. Why? Well, I know she committed a crime, but she's clearly in over her head. I don't think she's actually a bad person. She's a grown-up who made her own decisions, and now she has to suffer the consequences. You might not get it, but personally, I relate to someone who made a mistake and can't find their way out of it. I mean, when I was younger, I was thoroughly hoodwinked by the so-called good people at Columbia CD Club. Next thing you know, I had 16 copies of Blind Melon's first album. In high school, I broke into a bunch of houses and wound up in juvie. What? That's terrible. Well, I mean, yeah, Roses is a little worse. I was in ballet school and there was so much pressure to be perfect all the time that I just snapped. If I hadn't been underage, 